so I'm bird dogging. Um, I'm looking at a property in Northern California. I've been looking for like, I like the gold country up where they first discovered gold uh, in uh, the Placerville or they call it Hangtown. Uh, but it's where they first discovered gold is Coloma in Northern California. Uh, I worked there when I was a kid and, uh, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous property. And uh, so I've got a friend up there I've known for 40 years and I've got him kind of bird dogging for me. And he just found over 100 acres, 800,000 with a house. And it is perfect. I told him I was looking for a meadow property. This could be like a vineyard. You know, wine is going crazy everywhere. Uh, so I just stumbled onto something that's been listed less than three days. I'm frantically trying to get a hold of the agent right now, actually. And uh, I am trying to get an offer. <laughs> Apparently, I got a landline. But uh, uh, I'm texting her. I'm trying to get a hold of her. Uh, I'm telling her I want to make an offer on it because even the listing price is, is, is a good price. Uh, and uh, so, again, it's moving on things quickly is super important. So I may be jumping in a plane and flying to Sacramento and then taking a car over there. Uh, but uh, this sounds great. It sounds great. We're talking about a house and over 100 acres for 800 grand. Maybe I get it for a little less. But to me, the house is probably worth 300 grand by itself. You know, I could give it five acres, and then I'd still have over 100 acres for you know half a million bucks, which is really cheap. Uh, also going on today, uh, what did I look at? Um, oh, yeah, interesting. Uh, a, a friend of mine got a has a property, and it had a bunch of uh, somebody elderly had passed. And yeah, it's got all this furniture in it. <laughs> it's very old, but very very nice and uh, super clean, the roll top desk. Uh, but I like the old style dressers and stuff. And so I, I'm taking the old style stuff because I've got that lake property that I uh, just bought. I told you it's kind of retro. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna furnish it out with all this old retro furniture that kind of fits that 1970s look. In fact, so anyway, is this an old roll top desk? Uh, I got all this furniture free. This is the only thing I actually paid for. I paid 200 bucks for this, okay? Now I used to be a cabinet maker, so I can appreciate how much work is involved. But this is a solid oak desk. Everything is solid oak. There's no plywood, there's no particle board. Uh, even inside here, these are what they call, uh, if you look on the side here, these are raised panels. Tremendous amount of work involved with making something like this. Just these are all solid panels milled and then put together. And there, it's solid panels on the back of this thing. It's solid panels even on the insides, back and stuff like that. So if you order this, it has to cost you about four grand, maybe 4,500. So I bought it for 200 bucks and I don't even have a place for it, to be honest. Uh, and they're not as in demand as they used to be. But again, I'd say flip anything, right? So just for really for the video and for my boys, I'll probably have my boys sell this, but uh, uh, I went ahead and bought this for 200 bucks and we'll see, maybe it'll flip for 800 bucks or 500 bucks or something. But again, I say you can flip anything. A lot of you don't, you know, are starting with smaller budgets than others, but this is the kind of thing that, you know, you just keep your eye out and even if you didn't know what this is worth, you can kind of identify that there's a ton of workmanship here and you look it up, and if you looked on, you know, if you Googled it or whatever, you'd find out that to buy this, it's about 4,600 bucks from, I think, Amish Furniture or something like that. But, uh, so, I just wanted to share that. I also have uh, some cool dressers and stuff, old style. And uh, there's a wall unit that's going to be delivered here at some point today, too, that's old style. Uh, I think it's Thomasville, which is kind of a good brand for furniture. But, uh, it's old, it's kind of ugly by today's standards, but I said I would heck, take it. Worst case, throw it away. <laughs> but uh, anyhow, that's it, and I do have a kind of work. I'm not, I'm not much of a hoarder. When I do, I'll get this, this, this furniture, and if I can't sell it in like a week, then it's gonna get chopped up and thrown in the dumpster, or it's gonna get you know, given away or something. But I am not a hoarder. I will not hold on to stuff. If I can't sell it, it's useless. And if I can't sell it in a week, time to go. So that's what's going on. And uh, but I wanted to share that. And uh, Winnie, we'll uh, we'll uh, uh, 
we're getting some great videos coming. So flip anything USA, Tom, please subscribe, ask questions, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll all make some money.